So I was scrolling on Instagram and I came across this outfit. And I was like, ooh, yes, summer, fun, awesome. How much is it? Where can I get it? And I looked at the price. And this is the price. And I was like, thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am never gonna pay for that. So instead, as one does, I decided to make my own. So you might think that the whole idea of a white ensemble is where this is going, and that is not where it's going. I like pasta and coffee way too much to live in an $800 knife edge. So instead, I decided to go with the print. I got three meters of this fabric and pulled these patterns out of my stash. I am pro pattern hacking, but let me know if you're interested in DIY patterns in the comments below. The main ooh -la, la of this outfit is the white elastic, so I got some of that too. I got knitted elastic because I find it to be a lot softer than braided elastic, but to each their own. I increased the width of the skirt by 8 inches overall by placing the center front and the center back offset by 2 inches on the fold. This pattern is for a bias cut skirt, but it will work fine for a skirt cut along the grain. I increased the fabric by 2 inches above the waist fold overline to account for the wider elastic I'm using. I pinned the sides, sewed and surged. I then turned over the waistband by 2.5 inches and the edge under again by a quarter of an inch. I pressed this in place and sewed a 1 8 of an inch from the edge of the lip, leaving a 3 inch gap for the elastic. Elastic around my waist, cut it to length, and used a safety pin to assist in pulling it through. I sewed the ends together and closed the gap. Now the ends per pick is ankle length, but I wanted something mid calf. I ended up cutting off four and a half inches, sewed the edge, folded it over by an inch, and blind hemmed foot it into place. So now we're done with the skirt and now we can move on to the top. I cut out the pattern as is for view B, starting with sewing and surging the shoulder seams. The inspo pick also has more of a boat neck, so I made some markings and cut it to suit. side seams and sewed them into place. The pattern I'm using is actually a tie around, so there isn't actually any side seams. I made my own bias tape using the new length of the neckline. I folded it in half and sewed it along the neckline. I then used pinking shears to cut close to the edge. I then turned it over, ironed it in place, and sewed. it on and measured where I wanted the elastic to be. Using the same method I did for the skirt, I made markings where the elastic channeling should go. Now you can see the channeling is ironed into place. However, I still have to create that wrapped look, so I'm going to overlap each side by 1.5 inches, baste it in place, and then sew the channeling as normal. I then inserted the elastic and sewed the ends together, and then closing the channeling gap. And now for the best part, stretching the elastic so everything goes right in its place. With the waist done, I now moved on to the neckline and the shoulders. I ended up having to pleat the shoulders to get the right width at the top. I ended up taking quarter measurements of the sleeves and making them meet the centre. You can see that here. And then sew that into place trying to stitch in the ditch. I then tried it on and we had a problem. The pattern actually has a gathered front neckline and I did not account for this. I decided the quick fix was to add some pleats into the neckline even though it wasn't super clean. But I wanted to keep the fullness of the top and darts would take away from that. And right when I thought I was done. I'm not filming this part. Okay, now I'm done for real. Mm -hmm. 
remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye.